Merry early Christmas for all of you guys. Uh, it's uh, Christmas Eve, uh, December 24th in Korea. I think everywhere else around the world. Pretty as much, well. pretty much. Even in Los Angeles right now, it is right at 12.40. And we got a thumbs up for 12.40 in LA. So yeah, it's mm, Christmas yeah. Eve everywhere in the world. It's true. Where can I buy that Black Sprit plushie? The one in the back here? This one? Oh, they're soft. They're so uh, soft. Man. They are very you soft. I don't think it's publicly in, on sale no, right like, now. No, like I know for a fact they might have sold it in some game shows when mm. we went out for conventions, different yeah. conventions and things like that. But I don't think we have like an official store or anything yet for users to buy them from. If you guys want it, speak out. Oh okay. yeah. Awakening when? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. I don't think it's in the near future. I wouldn't mm. think so. Mm. It's gonna take some time, guys. Like be patient with us. It's just. The story has a path it will take. Yeah. And so classes. I'm seeing a lot of sorcerers when, meha when. Some people are asking Sork when. Uh, we don't know. Hmm. I think we we have already announced that a new class will be coming out. I think in the near future, but hmm. uh, we never really got to announce uh, what character that is. Just have to wait until the announcements come forward. But whenever it we have an idea when it's coming out it's probably going to be in newsletters that we send out to users so if you aren't subscribed to it please subscribe you'll get it in your email there's no way you'll miss it it'll say black desert right over it you and know? if you're not really into emails in 2019 oh, uh, <laughs> just <laughs> go on to our social media emails. we have twitter we have facebook yeah. I, I think we opened up instagram recently i have to double check on that uh -huh. but uh we definitely have a lot of channels and platforms for you guys to uh receive the latest news on black desert mobile you want to answer some other questions? I'm I'm totally missing them. Yeah. I what mean, are your jobs at Pearl Abyss? Jobs, okay. Oh whoa. Jeez. We're talking positions. You want to go first or what? Okay. I'm a I'm an English localizer here, and so I look at the Korean. I try to make it into sensible English. It's very sensible. It it's is completely wonderful English that you guys mm -hmm. write over there. New areas, stories, a lot of quests, a lot of quests, dialogue. Yeah. A lot of people have been skipping. I know because I do it too. It's okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I read the camp dialogues. I read uh -huh. the camp quest dialogues mm -hmm. whenever Shakatu comes in. And mm -hmm. I, I, I want to hear what he says. Mm -hmm. And he ends up saying the same thing every time he comes. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And he gives me the same stuff every time I go. <laughs> it's true. Which which is the stuff I don't need. Santa Claus, uh, the one that was recently added in the event, yeah. he says exactly the same lines every time he visits. And it's fine because he's Santa Claus. I mean, he can oh, yeah. do whatever he wants. And he, he, he gives us a, a nice pouch of goodies and like we get to open that sacks. up. Sacks. There were a lot of sacks. There were a lot of sacks. In yeah. the Christmas event, yeah? Oh, the, yeah. They were they, they were sacks. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So uh. just going through different sacks of... It's the same sacks. <laughs> it's not different. It's the same Guys. sacks. I work in the, the game operations for for Black Desert Mobile and I ah. play the part of GM. Mm -hmm. None of none of our team members make the game, but we make sure the game that's already been made is best presented to the users. Right. Do you think BDM will bring a party system? We are trying to implement um, creative ways, not the most typical ways of just you know, just finding random people and just saying add friend, add mm -hmm. party, then then just farming and just leaving on auto hunt and you get the shared experience, shared loot. We obviously have the Ancient Ruins, that was the one of the first renditions. We also have the new Bloodkin for Global, I even I don't think even Korea has no, that no, yet, you're right. as far as I know. Mm -hmm. When I see another person just in the distance, I don't even have PvP on because I'm a I'm a you know I'm a, I'm a chicken. You wanna space out, but if you have a party system and you clump in together, it's like uh, it gets crowded. It's gonna get yeah. really crowded. It's so true. like there's a lot of I think there's going to be a lot of thinking that needs to be put through to put in a party system eventually, if it yeah. does come. In the end, all those users that are wanting to play in a party system wants to be able to play with their friends, not so much so with random users. No. I think the people here at Pearl Abyss are going to be trying to prioritize creative ways, some of the different new ways to implement the party system that isn't so obvious. Kazarka chest dropped instead of weapons. So they're like talking about like we want to get the chest and maybe I want to open it on a different character and so I'll put it in storage, go to my other character, mm. open it and that way like you don't have to kill Kazarka with the character you want the weapon for. You can just oh, use it on other characters, right. right? But you know I think that would create a little bit of imbalance don't you oh, think? Yeah, like because, if you mm -hmm. happen to get like a Kazarka weapon, unless you create the same character mm -hmm. Uh, let's say let's say you kill the Zarka with a with a, a warrior, then you create another warrior that's just starting at level one, right. and you got the Zarka longsword. 
then you can equip that to your new character. And that's something we can't stop you from doing. But right, right. I think generally we want the 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 characters that killed whatever they killed mm -hmm. to be rewarded. But if you wanna, let's say you wanna switch, then you know. It doesn't take too long because you got Black Spirit CP, you got CP you shared amongst your family. So Black Desert, I think, did a great job in trying to help you make multiple characters. There are still ways that you can take advantage of the system yeah. where you just unequip all the armor. If you have, you know, plus 25, plus 26 armors, a mm -hmm. full set, just pop it onto a level 1 character, it becomes very, very strong. Yeah. I saw a couple of people asking about, hey, can we have different times for NA? Can we have different times for this time zone? Is that a is that an actual thing that can happen? We have three separate servers, right? Mm -hmm. We have the America server. It's not even called the North America server. It's called the America server. And it's dedicated to serve the North Americans mm -hmm. and also the South Americans. It's the whole line right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the line is not really straight. That's kind of where the complaint comes from. Uh, I understand it because the time zone is like mm -hmm. over here in New York. It's different from like Rio de Janeiro, like right here in South America. Mm -hmm. Time zone is just one singular time zone. Right. So I think... There's not going to be separate servers for different parts of America. But maybe something we can consider is um, we can have multiple times where we do different things. All right. Mm -hmm. While Zarka is probably going to be 8 p.m. No, no matter what, something like the, the node war, we've been constantly um, trying to communicate with our users, trying to find out what the best time is. Uh, to make sure that everyone can participate fairly. No, but I hear you. Like, you got guild members on the East Coast, you got guild members on the West Coast. And, and South you have, America. And South America. And yeah. everyone's like, oh, I work, I got school. Everyone has different life schedules, and you're trying to get a, you know, set a day for everyone to participate in Guild War. And this could be a real point of frustration for some people. True. Can we see the items we can get from Shikatu's shop? Uh, you can basically get anything that's available. From the green all the way to the red, there are sometimes notices that say somebody purchased a, a Zarka a weapon uh, from the Shakata's gear shop. It, it happens every now and then. Somebody so, has to get those things. While it is at a very, 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 very low rate, mm -hmm. it is not impossible. As we've seen, uh, some people do get red gear uh, mm -hmm. from Shakata's gear shop and everything is available. Oh, we have someone that's having a hard time finding pets in the market. Finding pets in the market. We did release a one-time Black Pearl purchase right. for the for the Black Cat. Um, How about we discuss what's the best way to use Black Pearls Black at Pearls? this time? Yeah, yeah. Because they've been asking, like, can we do other things with it? Can we change the system? Like, when are you gonna, you know, unlock other ways of using it? Yeah. That's a that's a couple of questions like that here. So I use it for accessories accessories for most of the time. It's just, right. Uh, I limit my purchases to purple and yellow. When you're reselling uh, right. accessories, the prices that appear on the cash shop on those add-on tabs, yeah, yeah. it's generally cheaper it's than the one that sells on the market. So you can make a profit off of it, but be sure you guys know that the, the amount you sell it for on the market, it's not the amount of pearls you're actually getting. You're actually getting a 30% tax cutoff in cases where, you know, like the last time we had the Black Pearl sale for mm -hmm. the Black Cat, don't miss out on your own chance to get those. Mm -hmm. And we were getting a couple of comments about uh, gender lock. I don't <laughs> think... I don't think Black Desert Mobile has any plans of removing gender lock in terms of you cannot create a male ranger, a female warrior, which is, I think, is pretty much the Valkyrie, in I mean, my opinion. But the Valkyrie has heal. Yeah, I know, but like, but the warrior has higher DP and like higher I mean, HP yeah. overall. But so it's like it's we balanced. have we have our own version of gender. Yeah, gender locking for like open gender in yeah. a sense like you have a similar class. Phil like, Valkyrie. And then, oh come on, guys. <laughs> male Valkyrie. There's nothing wrong with male Valkyrie. Like you could be a male Valkyrie tomorrow, and I would not laugh at you. Mm, let me think about Whoa. that for a second. <laughs> There was a lot of thoughts going through my head for a real long... Uh... I don't think it's in the minds of everyone at Pearl Abyss to go for gender lock to make literally the same exact class available for both genders. Mm. They want to make it unique for every single character. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just compare the ranger and archer situation. They both use bows and arrows, right? Right. And the one is female, one is male. Mm -hmm. But anyone can agree that both of them very, have very big dis dis yeah, significant distinctions mm -mm. even though they hold the same weapon. So they right. want to make sure uh, they can provide a unique experience for every single character, not just make it fully customizable mm -hmm. to kind of take away from those uh, the creative aspects. You guys can expect to see us the next time we're on maintenance. We're going to be here. I hope you guys enjoyed Velia Inn. We will see you on the next episode next week.
Bye. Bye.